This is a patient with a history of mesothelioma who comes in for restaging. We'll start scrolling down and uh, looking at everything. Overall, there's no evidence of metastatic disease in the abdomen or pelvis. As we scroll down through these images, we can see that there's an IVC filter that's been placed uh, previously. But one of the things that uh, caught our eye as we were looking at this uh, towards the end of the study was the sort of low density mass in the right lower quadrant is right adjacent to the cecum. And at first glance, you can think maybe it's associated with the appendix, could be a mucus of the appendix, but you can see that the appendix is actually arising just adjacent to it. And uh, if you scroll on some of the other images, it looks quite separate from this lesion itself. And as we looked at some prior studies, we noticed that this lesion was sort of in that location, in and around that location on, on a few prior studies, not growing in size, nor was it shrinking. And so looking at the study further, we see a few other observations that may help us in uh, understanding what that lesion is. We notice, firstly, that the uh, seminal vesicle on the right side is quite atrophied. We don't really see it too well. In addition, the spermatic cord in the inguinal canal on the right side is absent. Once we see those findings, you need to think about the possibility of an undescended testicle or an ectopic testicle, that is one that is not uh, inside the scrotal sac but is in a different location. And in order to evaluate that further, to best look at the uh, testicular vein, we can see it entering the IVC here. And following with that downwards, you can see it's going to the right lower quadrant, going to the right lower quadrant, and in fact goes right to this lesion. And so this turned out to be an interesting case uh, of an ectopic uh, right testicle in a patient um, who's being uh, staged for uh, a neoplasm centered in the chest.